Hello! I'm going to walk you through 8 simple steps to render on EC2 Spot using Deadline AWS Portal. First, let's submit the render job using Autodesk Maya and the Redshift GPU renderer. The test scene contains a camera animation over 50 frames. Let's open the integrated Deadline submitter. The limits for Maya and Redshift must be set to employ usage-based licensing. We also want to pre-cache our assets to AWS during the submission. Let's set the output path to point at a subfolder of one of AWS Portal's assets paths. Then we can submit the job to deadline. Next, we will create a deadline infrastructure on AWS. If you have not watched the AWS Portal Setup video, please do so before continuing. In the Deadline Monitor, we can see that our job is queued, but there are no deadline slaves to work on it. Let's click on the plus button in the AWS Portal panel to launch a new deadline infrastructure in the geographically nearest AWS region. We have to wait a few minutes for the infrastructure creation process to finish. Next, we will launch an EC2 spot fleet of GPU-enabled instances. Let's right-click the deadline infrastructure and select Start Spot Fleet from the context menu. In the Spot Fleet configuration dialog, we will select the Autodesk Maya with Redshift Amazon Machine Image. In the Instance Types tab, we will use the GPU preset to populate the right list with G3 instance types. We can add more GPU-enabled types manually, like the G2 instance types. The current spot price can be seen in the second column. We set the maximum price in US dollars we are willing to pay for these instances. In the target capacity field, we enter the number of instances we would like to request. The spot fleets area of the AWS portal dialog will show the settings and the status of our spot fleet request. After a few minutes, the slave panel of the deadline monitor will show new deadline slaves appearing. Next, we have to wait for the job to finish rendering. Once the deadline slaves have launched on the requested spot instances, they will start picking up tasks from our active job. The tasks will go through a waiting to start state before entering the rendering state. In the limits panel, we can see that both the Maya and the Redshift limits are being used. We can switch any of the panels to a graphical representation to get a higher level overview of their state. After a few minutes, the first tasks will become complete. They will indicate this in blue color in the tasks panel. At this point, we have enough finished images to check out the render output folder we defined earlier. We can see that the images being rendered in the cloud are being synchronized automatically to our on-premise storage by the AWS Portal Asset Server. After a few minutes, all frames are completed. In the Slaves panel, all deadline slaves are either idle or offline. In the Limits panel, we can see that all slaves have returned their Maya and Redshift limit stops. In the AWS Portal panel, we can see that our request for a fleet of 40 instances was fulfilled by EC2 Spot, and in the Slaves panel, we can see that there are indeed 40 idle instances. Next, we will stop the EC2 Spot fleet. We right-click the Spot fleet request and select Stop Spot fleet from the context menu. Deadline automatically adjusts some parameters to optimize performance based on the number of slaves. The spot fleet request turns red to denote that it is terminating the instances. The violet color represents instances that are currently shutting down. 
Next, we will stop the deadline infrastructure. We right-click the infrastructure and select Stop Infrastructure from the context menu. Then we confirm the operation by answering Yes to the prompt. However, since the spot fleet is still shutting down, the infrastructure will wait for all instances to terminate before deleting its components. Note that if we would execute the stop infrastructure command without stopping the fleets manually, any spot fleets running in that infrastructure would be stopped as well. After a few minutes, both the spot fleet and the deadline infrastructure will be deleted. In the following optional step, we will take a quick look at the job statistics. Let's open a new job details panel, dock it next to the tasks panel, and expand the statistics category. Here we can see that the job running time was 11 minutes and 16 seconds, but the total task time was 4 hours and 24 minutes. Finally, let's take a quick look at the render output we produced. Right-click the job and open the render output in a suitable image sequence viewer. This concludes the AWS Portal ready-to-render demo.